What is going on everybody and welcome on into the TC Trading Channel. So in today's video, we're going to be going over how to use the trailing stop loss feature here on Weeble. Should be a fairly short and a sweet to the point video. So make sure you're staying tuned. Hit that thumbs up button. Consider subscribing for more of these videos that we post here on this channel. We're keeping it educational. We're keeping it very straightforward here. So right now we're looking at a stock. The market is open. This is the best time to show you guys how to use this. But first thing you need to understand is that trailing stop loss you will not be able to utilize this in the after hours or the pre-market hours. So for someone looking to get into Weeble, let's say you're new or you haven't signed up yet, we'll leave a link down below in the pinned comment and description box. But what you need to know is that you can only utilize this from the hours of 9.30 a.m. Eastern all the way to 4 p.m. Eastern. Okay, that's regular trading hours. That's when this can be utilized. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually go ahead. I'm going to buy 500 shares. I'm going to market by 500 shares of NAKD. That's a stock of choice today. Yes, I think we have some resistance coming up here at like 75 cents or so. Um, 76 is the area that I have on the line here. But that said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to now issue a trailing stop loss so I can ride the wave. If this wants to keep trending up all day, I'm going to ride the wave and it's only going to trigger if it meets the criteria that I'm going to set. And there's a bunch of things we can do here. Okay, so... I am right now, I am using this widget right here. This is the classic trade widget. So up in the top right, when you go to add widgets, you'll go here and then you'll go to trade and then you go to classic trade. And then that's going to pull this guy up, which is the exact same thing. I have it just kind of inflated a little bit bigger on my screen. So I'm going to get rid of this guy, but we were using the classic trade. Now I have 500 shares. Okay. I want to sell these shares, but I want to sell it only when the trend cracks, only when my stop loss gets hit. So as we speak, right, I pretty much just bought the absolute top, but uh, it's for the sake of the video. So hit that thumbs up button because I'm losing money. Um, okay, so now we go to sell, okay? I'm going to click on the order type here and I'm going to click on a trailing stop, okay? So we wanna look trailing stop and now we have the option to select the quantity. So I don't have necessarily, you know, have my trailing stop loss for the entirety of my position, but I'm gonna do that in this case. And I can either trail it by a dollar amount. So see how it's, we have the dollar sign. It says a price um, little symbol right here. I can trail it by a price or I can trail it by a percentage, okay? so. In this situation, I'm going to trail this bad boy by a price just because that's how I want to play it. Okay, so what does that mean? Before we do this, what does that actually mean? This means that if we're going to trail by a price, let's say that I set this to be 0.01 cent, right? That's going to be one cent because we're talking about a penny stock here. So, you know, that means that from the time that I place that order, okay, what it's going to do is it's going to keep, you know, following this stock but it's going to say from the highest point after I place that order, from the highest price point after I place that order, and that keeps changing if the stock keeps going higher, it is going to say that if the stock drops one cent off of that point, it could happen in a second, it could happen in 10 minutes, it can happen in three hours. If the stock drops one cent off of where the most recent highest price after I put in this order, it is going to take me out. Okay, so in this situation, let's just take a look, right? We are looking at this stock, right? And it's bouncing around between like 74 cents and it came down here to 71. So one cent probably isn't the best trailing stop for this specific example because we can easily drop one cent and then it could, you know, go higher. So I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna use three cents here on this guy. I'm gonna use three cent trailing stop and I'm gonna put my trailing stop loss in and sell NAKD. So it just hit. 0.745. Okay. So let's just say that I put this trailing stop loss in, it's not going to show up on the screen because it's going to be doing this in the background, right? It hit, it just hit 0.745. So now if NAKD drops three cents, so it has to come down to 0.715. If it hits, when it hits 0.715, I'm going to get taken out. Now, if this stock goes higher than where it just hit, then it's going to reset or it's going to keep bringing my trailing stop loss up. Okay. So ideally now here it goes, it's going higher. So now my trailing stop loss comes up, up, up. Ideally, right. I want to ultimately just kind of sit back and let it do its thing for today. And then when it hits, it hits and I don't have to worry about it. So that's what's going on right here. And it works the exact same way with percentages. So I can go in here and do a quick percentage calculation and say, okay, let's just say, okay, here's the percentage that went down like 5%. 
um, on this kind of past couple of minutes. So I'm going to put a, a trailing stop loss at, let's say, 5%. You know, you can kind of just roughly see the range it's been trading in. And if it drops 5%, you know, I'm going to get out. So that's what we have. Now we hit 75. So I'm three cents off of that. So now my stop loss, as we just hit 75 cents, my stop loss is now 72 cents. So that's all the way down here, which it could hit, you know, right now. But that's where my trailing stop loss now is on NAKD. And again, you could only do this during regular market hours. I want to also mention you can do the exact same thing, but the opposite. So let's say I was right here. I can't do it now because I currently have a long position. But let's say that I had went in and I did a market uh, sell short right on NAKD. I could go short then to set my trailing stop loss on the buy side because when I'm closing out a short position, it's going to show up here on the position. It's going to have negative 500. If I was to go short, I would go to buy. I would do the same thing. Trailing stop loss, buy, and I could do the exact same thing and it's going to do the opposite. So now the stop loss, let's say I did a three cent stop. If I shorted NAKD right here at 75 cents, my stop loss would be 78 cents. If it hits 78, I'm out. But if it comes down, that stop loss comes down as well. It trails it by three cents. So there you guys have it. Hopefully that was helpful. We're gonna leave links and resources in the description box like always, but definitely make sure you check out our Weeble playlist if you have any other questions about the app, the desktop. We have tons of videos here going over Weeble and a lot of the features that we have. And if you have more questions and more features you have questions on, let us know and we'd be happy to make more videos just how we made this video. I got some questions and I figured let me make that video going over how to utilize the trailing stop loss feature. Thanks so much for watching guys. Hit that thumbs up button and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.